I, I had a woman once quite a few years ago who was going through a very, very challenging time and was experiencing profound disturbance and triggers of fear. And, and it actually, it became so perpetual in her own mind that she was generating all sorts of very distorted imagined fears. And uh, this was at a time where um, I, I had a small centre, Ashram, and so um, quite often the phone was there where I was going to answer. Well, I answered the phone and this woman was on the phone. I Syra, please help me. I'm, a I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. And I just talked her through being present and just watching it. Just said, so just go and be there and just watch. Be present, be aware, just watch this disturbance. I want you to be really, really curious, like you're a scientist observing it. What is this? What is its energy? What's really happening? Do you know she didn't call back? <laughs> like she did not call back or turn up or anything. And, and, and it was like a month later or something, she, she showed up and she said, oh, yes. Oh, well, that's right. I said, so, so what did happen? She said, oh, well, it vanished. It just completely vanished. And this is why I asked you to observe the nature of what actually is happening as you allow yourself to rest in this present moment with a wakeful, attentive awareness and just be present with the feelings. Be aware with the feelings. Observe what happens. That's the point of me encouraging you to observe what's occurring because you'll notice that actually all the feelings start to subside into this ocean of just beingness. It's no longer a distinct feeling. Or maybe a wave comes through, but it comes and it goes again. Wave rises, a wave falls. So the more deeply you allow yourself to rest in this space, the more you realize you actually don't have to do anything about the feelings. They have no fixed reality. They do subside. And what they subside into is wholeness. It is love. It is peace. It is joy. It is freedom. It is bliss. 